guys, so today I'm doing a review of the Derwent Ink Tense set of 72 pencils. And these pencils are advertised as ink pencils, as you can see here. They're not watercolor pencils, and I'll go on more about the difference that later. So let's see what we got. So, oh, as always, let's check the back of the tin, and there's info with the back. So, pencil to ink in just one wash. So, the Derwent Ink Tense combines the vibrancy of ink with the subtlety of pencils. So, you can use this dry or wet. You can blend, and it comes with an outliner or a non-soluble pencil. made in the UK and let's see what's on the inside so <laughs> okay so before we get into that there's just some info on this tin about how the Derwent pencil was created and it's been made since 1832 really nice really nice stuff and here are the pencils there's actually two trays and let me just adjust the camera so we could see. Okay, so this set is really big. And like my Polychromos review, the set is so big that it can fit in the entire page. But yeah, this is basically how it looks like. And at first glance, I can see that there's a lot of really vibrant colors. The set focuses on having a lot of blues, as you can see here. There's a lot of blues and there's also a lot of greens. So I think this set would be really good for landscapes. And there's also quite a variety of browns and grays. And there's also some purples. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of skin tones as you can see here. There's only one that looks potentially like a skin tone and the rest are all browns. But let's see when we do the swatches. Okay, so let's try to swatch out the yellow first. Okay, let's grab this sherbet yellow. And we're basically, we're going to use one and half of this paper for this side and the other half for this side. So it's divided into two and you can store it like a folder. And the colors don't get messy. So, three. So as you can see, while it's dry, let me just zoom that in. The color is super vibrant. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But ex it's extremely vibrant in real life. And let's try to add water. And this, you can see that color becomes even more vibrant. And with just a little bit of the pencil, you can get a lot of color. So this is very cost efficient. And it takes quite a while before you could get it to a really light color. So if you want like a pastel -y color or just a glaze, just use a little of the pencil. Yeah, as you can see there, this is while it's dry and this is while it's wet. It looks totally beautiful and I'll show you why it's intense later when we let that dry and we do the other swatches. Okay, now let's zoom in and take a look at this last color. And as you can see, my handwriting is horrible, but... Yeah, it's Derwent Intense's Outliner Pen. And basically, what this outliner pen promises is not to smudge or blend when exposed to water. So you use this to outline your drawings. And let's test it out. And I'm adding a lot of water and I'm considerably rubbing hard. And it kind, it kind of still smears a bit. But it's a very faint grayish outline. It kind of softens it up, but it doesn't make your work messy. So this is really good for outlining your works. As you can see, I'm rubbing really hard and I'm adding lots of water. And it's not really budging that much. You can see this is still darker than this. But there's still a bit of smudge, so 
I recommend not putting this on too thick or not going, not rubbing so much. And let's zoom out again. And okay, so these are the colors in the ink pens line. And I'm not sure if it's visible in the video, but there are a lot of really bright colors in this line. It's difficult to get pastel colors unless you use a really tiny amount of pigment. But that's good because you can conserve money and use less of the pencil. It gives you more product. But one constructive criticism I have is that a lot of these colors are really similar. Like these, these three yellows are pretty indistinguishable. These two oranges have really slight differences. And a lot of these reds look quite similar. And one thing to note the ink tense is that these colors are super vibrant, dry. And this might be a pro for you if you re like really vibrant and really dark colors. But if you're planning to use these dry, just note that you'll have trouble getting really light colors unless you use, unless you have really light pressure or you augment it with a different set of colored pencils that are less intense, like some Prismacolors or Polychromos pencils. There's a lot of colors that look similar, so I think you can get away with just getting maybe a set of 36 or a set of 48. You won't be missing out on a lot. And there's not really a wide selection of skin tones. If you use these just dry, nothing looks suitable for a skin tone. Except maybe a really light orange and brown. And if you water them down, these might be good for skin tones, but you'll have to water them down even more. So just take it into account if you like to draw a lot of portraits or people. You might have some difficulty and you'll want to use less pigment and more water. So we're going to move on to the demo and because I'm reviewing the pencils as opposed to the ink tense blocks, I'll be using a combination of wet and dry techniques. I'll be primarily using the ink tenses to lay down washes first and then I'll use it dry to add detail later.